Hi there, welcome to AI Python. Hope you are doing great and enjoying the video series in which you are learning to build a desktop app called Vaccine Availability Checker from scratch in Python using TK Interlibrary. This is the 10th video of this series and in this video you will learn to make an API call by using date and pin code gathered via user input. This API call will be triggered and updated via a function. This means whenever you click on the search button of this application, this function gets triggered. As a result, it will make the API call to fetch the most recent information from the Covin portal. The API call that we are making need two variables, namely date and location. In this case, pin code. In the past videos, that is video number 8 and 9, you have learned to fetch the current date automatically using checkbox as well as you learn to fetch the pin code of your current location automatically using a radio button click. Now it's time to use both these collected input to make our search function work. Although we will keep the search operation topic for the next video. There I will explain everything in detail. In this video, we will learn how to make a function so that it can call API using most recent information. And at the last, as a bonus section, I'll make you write one more function which will clear the result box automatically before every new API call so that a fresh content will appear on the box and all the previous content will be cleared off. So let's get started with this video and understand how to create function that will make an API call and use request module to send API requests to the Covin portal and receive some data. All right. If you are learning something new from these videos or if it is helping you to acquire a new skill, then I would urge you to please hit the like button which will indicate that you are enjoying the content and it gives us the signal to produce such content more often. Pause for a moment and like this video. You can also browse all the previous video of this playlist from the link available in the i button displayed at the top right corner of this video right now. As well as I have also provided the link in the description. A fully functional and 100% working version of this software for Windows is also available for absolutely free at our website AIPython.in. Download the software from the link available in the description. So in order to make the API call, we have created one function which is called refresh underscore API underscore call. And it will take two parameters as discussed. First is pin code. And the second one is date and similar to other function we are creating this function inside app dot main loop and you can see app equal to tk as long as the gui exists these functions will be accessible right so make sure to write everything inside this block okay so let's see this function so refresh underscore api underscore call what it does basically the main purpose of this function is to generate a link dynamic link because user input has to be taken care in case you change the date in case you change the pin code it should accommodate accordingly so it has to make every time when you click on the search button it will take the latest information provided by the user and make the api request right so request link is the thing that we need to generate and I have made a detailed video about how to make an API request to this Covin portal. And there I have discussed about how to find these routes and how you can change parameter in the routes. So you can watch the video. The link for the same is available in the description as well as in the i button displayed at the top right corner of this video. There you will learn various responses that you get when you send a request to that server, basically Covin portal. There would be various format of responses, mostly in JSON format and how you can get exact data from that format. I would highly recommend you to watch that video because you will get a deeper insight of that one. So let me come back to this function and here we'll discuss uh, 
quickly how to use this function and what are the content of this function right so request link is one of them which is basically the route and in this route there are two parameter which can be changed at any point of time the first one is pin code and second one is date right and then it requires a header so header is basically string which application or a browser sends to each website you visit and it assure that it is coming from a valid browser this is the reason why uh, headers are introduced while making an api call in this case we are talking about covin portal which extensively ask for the headers right you can search about various type of headers which are available supported in making a request first one is the header that we are, we have created and second is the link now when we send a request using re request dot get is basically a sending a request to this link and what is this link request is this request link which is built on and comma header is equal to header this is the format of sending a api request using request module in python right we are using request link to send a api request on this server specifically on this server and in return when this request goes to that server it will send you some response and these response are basically json response that's why we have recorded the response in this variable called call response when you send this request this comes to this variable response and now we have created another variable called risp or basically response underscore json which basically handles it is not converting actually it is already in json format but python's built-in json module will make it easy to understand right so that's why we have uh, converted this one using response.json right this is inbuilt module you don't have to install anything on python and then return this response using this function we have created an api link right which is called also called route and we have sent a request on this link and we got the response we store the response and return this response for this function so whenever this function is called you can expect to get this as an output of this function right the another thing that additionally i wanted to also speak about is uh, the clear result box this is required when uh, let's say you have sent a request using pin code x or maybe anything 110096 right and for the same date after some time you wanted to replace the pin code with a different one then in this case before the result of this response appear on the result window i wanted to clear everything right so that a new fresh data is available so this function exactly does the same thing so when this function is called we will be calling this function in the later video but to make you understand what this function is it's very simple we have created a function clear result box and it doesn't require anything what it does whenever this function is called it will clear all the boxes so we have talked about result boxes uh, in our previous videos you can find the link for the same video in the i button displayed at the top right corner right now go and check out to find out how we have created this box we are using the variable associated with those boxes to clear everything from starting which is 1.0 that means start start of from the start of every box till the end of that box right so we are clearing for every variables result box uh, for availability for center name age vaccine dose one dose two and combine dose one dose two so we are deleting everything before making a new data appear on the same box right so this gives a kind of cleanness to the system overall ui design so whenever you make a new request the older request is older data is deleted and the new data from the new request appear in the box all right that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new in this video please help us by sharing this video in your network we read each comment and reply them in case if you have any doubt related to this video then do write them in the comment section we will reply see you next time with another exciting and informative content i'll be preparing the next video for you till then keep learning and keep growing